Hello everyone, Larry Leverancic from Ichimoku.co and ForexTrading.tv with a daily analysis of the S&P 500 for the trading day ending Thursday, November 21st, 2013. Well, a change of trend back to the upside today and a candle that's made a higher high and a higher low. Previous days trading we had a, a black body candle suggesting that the sellers had found some decent downside momentum and if we recall yesterday we were looking for support and buying to come in uh, around the 1775 level we had a confluence of a strong support there with the 10 cent trading in the same area and suggested that there was a very strong possibility of the buyers coming back to this market around this region and here we've seen that today with a very solid white body candle the size of this uh, white body is larger than all three of the previous uh, dark bodies and suggests that the buyers are still the stronger party in this second time frame uptrend of the markets in that second time frame uptrend is based on the peaks and troughs now we've had a trading day where the buyers have made a substantial amount of net bullish progress on the day between the open and the close they've closed with the control they've been strongly committed to take this market higher the only problem here is that they haven't uh, closed above the important 1800 level of resistance around number and the major high so uh, we will need to see uh, some solid continuation of that upside momentum that they built for today's trading to breach that area and I suggest that there is a, a, a great likelihood that they will do that this is a very solid bullish candle and a good answer to the previous three trading days and uh, does suggest that uh, the buyers are attempting to build that momentum to take out that area now in terms of the Fibonacci extension, uh, this may give us uh, a guide as to where this market may go. Uh, the important thing to watch here is the 61.8% level, which is just around that major high. And we could see the uh, buyers lose commitment and the sellers come back into the market around that area. So it will be a crucial level to this market uh, for tomorrow's trading if the trend does continue to the upside. In terms of Ichimoku, obviously still a bullish market in all three time frames. We have uh, the market trading above the Ichimoku cloud, so we're bullish in the long term time frame. Trading above the Kijun Sen, the pink line here, so bullish in the medium term time frame. And that Kijun Sen is pointing up uh, now. It's starting to, uh, um, the angle of it is starting to increase, and that highlights the uh, strong momentum in the second time frame. And also the uh, Tenkan Sen. Uh, has price action above it giving us a bullish market in the short term time frame and is also pointing up fairly sharply reflecting the solid upside momentum so all of this does suggest that the buyers are attempting to build that momentum to close the market above that important important 1800 region looking to the chico span that's above the corresponding price action it's confirming the strong momentum that we have in this market confirming the three ichimoku or the other three ichimoku indicators so really for tomorrow's trading 1800 and just above is a crucial level if the market does come off potentially strong support around the uh, 1775 region again but also at the tenkan sen now trading at 1781